Apple's next level desktop workstation is on the horizon. The Mac Studio powered by the new M5 Pro, M5 Max, and possibly an M5 Ultra chip. According to trusted sources like Mac Rumors and Notebook Check, Apple is prepping its most advanced Mac Studio lineup ever. Today we will break down what we know and what we think we know and when you may be able to buy one. According to Mac Rumors, M5 MacBook Air coming spring 2026 with Mac Studio and Mac Mini in development. And according to Notebook Check, MacBook Pro, Mac Studio, Mac Mini with M5 Pro and Mac chips will be much more configurable. And according to Apple's newsroom, Apple unleashes M5, the next big leap in AI performance for Apple Silicon. Now, first of all, let's take a look at what we know about the M5 chips. And Apple officially launched its base M5 chip just recently, and the launch has revealed some impressive numbers. According to Apple's press release, M5 uses the 3NM process, features a 10-core CPU plus 10-core GPU as well, and boasts up to 4x peak GPU compute for AI tasks over the M4. So the Silicon tech is ready. What remains is getting that into the Mac Studio platform. Right now, the current Mac Studio with M4 Max and M3 Ultra remains Apple's top workstation desktop. According to Mac rumors, the Mac Studio won't see its next refresh until the M5 class chips are ready. By the way, if you would like to buy the current Mac Studio, then I've also shared my Amazon affiliate link in the video description. You can use that link to buy those products or any other tech product of your choice as well. That will be a really, very really great support for the channel. A deeper leak from Notebook Check suggests that the upcoming M5 Pro and Max chips will use a new SOIC MH packaging design, enabling more customizable uh, CPU and GPU core counts, meaning the Mac Studio could become far more configurable than ever. And whereas the base M5 devices have begun rolling out, the higher-end variants, Pro, Max, and Ultra, are widely expected in the first half of 2026 or later. So if you are waiting for the Ultimate Mac Studio, patience will likely pay off. If the Mac Studio gets M5 Pro, Max, or Ultra chips, then here is what it means. At first, there will be a massive AI graphics headroom with M5 architecture pushing AI workflows. Creative professionals could run more local models. 3D rendering and media workflows on desktop like never before. Secondly, there will be a better workstation value because more configurable cores means you may choose exactly what you need rather than overpaying for unused performance. And third, we have strategic buy decision. If you're buying today, the current Mac Studio is excellent. If you will benefit from next-gen performance, then waiting for the M5 class studio is likely wise. In short, base M5 chip is live and powerful. Mac Studio Refresh with M5 Pro, Max, and Ultra is in development, but not yet available. Professionals who demand maximum performance should plan for the next generation. If you need a workstation now, then today's studio still hits hard. So let me know in the comments, what would your ideal Mac Studio configuration be? Is it M5 Pro, M5 Max, or an Ultra variant? And if you found this video useful, then hit that like, subscribe to the channel for every Apple Workstation update. And by the way, if you would like to buy any product of your choice, then I've also shared my Amazon affiliate link in the video description. You can use that link to buy those products. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.